is coming into Paris Airport now. I think we are doubting our decision to spend two nights in the air because we're both very tired. Um, but happy. But happy. The flight's actually not very booked out, so if you have a look around, there's not a whole lot of people. It's also one of those old planes where we don't have our own individual screens or even modern things like USB chargers. There's the TVs up all over the place. It's now 7 a.m., 6 a.m., and we have to stay awake all day to get used to the jet lag. So after about two hours at Charles de Gaulle Airport, we finally got on train. It took us a little while. It's a lot more confusing than we thought. And we are now on our way to Gare du Nord. While in Paris, one of the things I need to do is complete a France off challenge with an old friend of mine, Sam Thorpe. <laughs> Uh, basically we each have to find places that we go to while the other is in Paris because we're each in Paris a couple of times over the next month but never at the same time so I'll keep you updated on how that goes once I get into Paris. As Sam and I would not be in Paris simultaneously during August but would still visit the city twice each, the France off seemed like the next best way for us to interact. Sam's landmark was a statue of Saint Michel, whereas mine was the RATP head office, that's the people in charge of the Paris Metro. Each of us found each other's landmarks, so round one was a draw. Having done that, Denise and I took the train to the Palace of Versailles with Thibault, a French friend of hers that she met when he was on exchange in Chile during university a long time ago. 